leader. Can I tell you, as a leader, when you have the gift of sight, you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department. I was doing a, a, a teaching in Enugu, I think it was a week or two, about two weeks ago. And I was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works. You will never find people, perfect people in your life because you are not yourself. And yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources, both human and monetary. But the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative but they are loyal and all this will be sent to you by god it is your ability to see many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people you put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor and then the person does not have the time whether they cry he does not care it's not like he's a bad person he's just not a pastor unfortunately the gift of sight and can i tell you when you have the gift of sight you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of god if you had seen them when they came they did not look like it but the ability to see the cleaner who is cleaning your house now you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children the person may not be able to speak Yes, he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira, 20 naira here. But it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits. The person still has the purity of heart. Can you look beyond people's actions? The sin I will help you to forgive. The sin I will help you to know how to tolerate people. It gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise. But the sin I will also caution you. And tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years beware now before you cry tomorrow the seeing eye some of you god warned you about many people years ago but sentiments you were wrapped up with sentiments until they now became a plague to your organization a plague to your life can i tell you one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see the one you see is not the only one i have you can watch people and as you see people you are seeing things beyond what the eyes you can you can be given access to people's tendencies access to people's weaknesses access to people's limitations not to laugh at and condemn them but to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them how to guide them and how not to guide them for me, I will not do what Elisha did. I will not cause leprosy on the person. But I will say, Gehazi, be careful. This is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle. What do we do about this now? Perhaps he would have been called Prophet Gehazi. There are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left. Like Lot and made certain mistakes. And if not for the intervention of Abraham, Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah. I know that that uncle may be harsh. That auntie may be harsh. It looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments. But if you have the seen eye, God will say remain in that house. As, as harsh as that treatment is, that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you running around and looking for comfort to produce a weak person. And in the midst of that pain, 
it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names and you want to leave and God says stay there if you have the eyes that see one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say I don't like you all but God gave us an instruction he said we should build you a house and empower you to go and when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold they will not believe it if you were in Egypt and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say Canaan sometimes gold will still come from the Egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it or will you hurry out of Egypt and leave empty-handed if they had left Egypt two weeks before the time appointed they would not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle hallelujah is someone hearing what I'm saying there are people today who left Nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they are they knew that that decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here there were others who were blindly copying and they just got up as soon as they left Nigeria their destiny helpers got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found and some of them with all due respect are living like fugitives in a strange land.